everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is gonna be the last video of 2017 where I'm sitting down like this anyway because there are two more vlogs in my vlogmas series coming for you the next couple of weeks but anyway this will be the last sort of inspiration guide kind of video. Hi Oscar. So I'm actually heading out the door pretty soon, so I thought I just wanted to casually sit down here and talk you through some of the empties that I've been going through this past year. And I've kind of been keeping this bag for putting in the empties along the way as I emptied them. So today I thought I wanted to show you what I have inside of this bag and once more just go through what kind of products I have swapped them with in order to make less and better waste. So without any further ado, I think we should just go straight into this bag and have a look what's inside. So the first product I have here is a shampoo. This is from Tresemme. And it's been a while since we emptied this one because as some of you may know, I have been using plastic free or package free solid shampoo bars for I think around six months now. I'm really pleased with that. Recently, I went ahead and tried some products from Lush and I ordered some products from their package-free or their so-called naked range. The ones of you who follow me on Instagram might have seen that in my stories. And one of my concerns when I received the parcel from Lush was the packaging. I was kind of concerned because they use packing peanuts and I was like, well, isn't this considered packaging? But they're actually biodegradable. They are made from cornstarch. A girl from the Lush team actually wrote that to me because I expressed my concern about that. So I think that's awesome. The thing is with shampoo bars that some of them kind of have a tendency to leave a film on your hair and I don't like that whatsoever. So I tried the ones from Ethique and they didn't do that at all. But the problem is that they are being shipped all the way from Australia and I think it's kind of... It's kind of crazy to order a small thing like a shampoo bar all the way from Australia to Denmark. So Lush is a great alternative. They're being shipped from England and they work really well. So that was shampoo. I'm not planning on going back to conventional shampoo any day soon because I am so pleased with the package free shampoo bars that I've been trying out and I don't really see the need to produce extra waste in form of plastic bottles when you have other alternatives. Moving on. So the next product I have is a conventional deodorant. This one is from Garnier and I remember being very pleased with this one, but I was just looking for a less waste alternative and something a bit more natural that works just as well. Maybe even something without perfume because I have super sensitive skin. Before when I shaved my armpits, I always had like red spots underneath my armpits. My skin was always really irritated and my armpits were <laughs> very itchy. Sorry if that's a bit TMI, but anyway. So the product I have swapped this with is a natural crystal deodorant. I've been blabbering on about that product for such a long time. I've been using the crystal deodorant also for about six months and I'm still very pleased with it. It gets kind of slippery when you use it because you have to make it wet underneath the tap and then sometimes when you apply it it's just not very practical and it slips right out of your hands and it just breaks into a thousand pieces. I've tried that once myself and the solution to this is simply taking the little bits and putting them into a spray bottle and filling it with water and in that way you can keep using the crystal deodorant as a normal deodorant. So the next thing I have in my bag is this waterproof eye makeup remover. This is just from a Danish drugstore called Metas, which is probably the most well-known drugstore in, in Denmark. This is so good, but the problem with it is that it comes in a plastic bottle and my mission this year has kind of been to reduce my waste of plastics because plastic is a huge problem for our environment. I actually have another one in our shower cabinet with like this much in it that I need to finish up. But as soon as I'm done with that one, I don't plan on purchasing a new one. As you guys know, I like to use my oil from Meraki, which is an, a multi-purpose oil. It's a great oil. Meraki is not really known as being a zero waste brand or anything, but they have this wonderful oil that comes in a glass bottle and it's very practical it kind of has this dropper and i use that oil as a body oil i use it in my hair as kind of a heat protection oil and also just to nourish my hair and also i like to use it to remove eye makeup and the way i like to use it is actually just to bring it with me into the shower and then drop 
a few drops of oil on my fingers and then just smear it out on my eyes and that just takes away all my eye makeup it works wonders so in that same area i've also eliminated my use of disposable cotton pads so that was the eye makeup remover oscar you're being a bit noisy today take the hand yeah okay hard life being a dog He's being so annoying today. Not annoying, he's super cute, but if he could just lay down and be quiet. All right, so as I was saying, I have a dry shampoo here. This is also from the, the drugstore that I just spoke about before, the ones that carries the eye makeup remover. This is just like any other dry shampoo. It's really scented. It was actually really good. It made my hair clean and voluminous. But again, I really wanted to explore the world of making less waste. And I found that if you use just regular cornstarch that you can buy at the store, and pop some of that into your hair, it works just as well. Seriously, I'm not kidding. I've written a post about it on my blog. I actually got this tip from Bea Johnson who wrote the book Zero Waste Home and it's it works wonders. And the way I like to apply my homemade dry shampoo is actually to just fill this little bottle I have that used to contain another hair product, some kind of volumizing powder. And I like to fill that with cornstarch and then add a few drops of lavender oil. A lot of you have been concerned about the cornstarch turning into some kind of paste when you add the essential oils, but don't worry about that. It's not gonna happen. You apply so little that that will never happen. You could also totally leave out the scent if you don't want it to have a nice scent or if you just want it to be perfume free, that's totally fine. It works just as well. And obviously if you have darker hair, you should try adding some raw cocoa powder to the mixture to kind of match your hair color better so you won't get that white overcast from the cornstarch and if you don't have a small bottle like the one I like to use then you could just apply it to a glass jar or something and then dip in a large makeup brush and tab it onto your hair I've also tried that and it works fine so I no longer buy dry shampoo at the store I just make my own completely natural and super affordable as well then we have a face cream. This is from a brand called Dama, which is a Danish brand, I think. I bought this at my local supermarket. This is a allergy-friendly and eco-certified um, product. <laughs> I've actually gone through a couple of these. It's a good face cream, no doubt about that. But again, I really wanted to make less waste and I wanted to explore the world of making my own beauty products. The animals are crazy here today. So as you guys might know, I now make my own face oil. It's a great face oil. I've been using it for a couple of months. I've made a video about it. I've made a blog post about it. So I'm gonna make sure to link that, both of those down below for you guys. So you should go check them out. And it's actually a great base to apply makeup on, I find, because it slides right on and it makes my skin look very radiant and very glowy. So I love using oils instead of creams. Then we have a tampon in the bag and the reason for this one being here is obviously again because I have ditched the disposable tampons and, and feminine pads and now I use a so-called moon cup instead which is basically a reusable tampon and uh, the great thing about the moon cup is that it can last for years and you can clean it and now I'm not gonna go into any more details. It's awesome, okay? So the next product I have here is a brow fix. I actually was really pleased about this brow fix, but again, I thought, you know what? I need to find out if I can make something myself so that I won't make a lot of unnecessary waste. And if you like watching beauty videos on YouTube like I do, I watch so many beauty videos and often I don't even recreate the looks that I'm looking at. I just really enjoy it and find it really entertaining. If you follow Desi Perkins, she actually made a video a while back where she is using a soap bar to fix her eyebrows. And I'm gonna link the video down below for you guys because you have to check it out. And I've been rambling on about soap brows ever since and it works, it works really well. And that's another thing that I've written a blog post about, which I'm gonna link down below for you guys. I'm gonna link a whole bunch of things today down below. I really enjoy using brow fix because I have pretty long eyebrow hairs, which kind of wants to point in the wrong direction throughout the day, especially if I have my hair like this. So I like to fix my eyebrows and I like to put something on them that keeps them in place all day. And the, the soap, just helps me do that so 
there's really no need for me to buy graphics at the store anymore. So the last product I want to share with you guys is a bath oil. You can also use this as a massage oil, but I've only been using it in the, in the tub. This was with a calming lavender scent and it's from a Danish brand. So instead of purchasing these bath oils at the store, I actually just used some of the, the jojoba oil I used to mix into my face oil. And then I just add a couple of drops of essential lavender oil to the tub. And that works just as well. You know, there's no need to go out and buy extra things when you have something else that you can use. So this is another product that I won't be repurchasing anytime soon. Not because I didn't like the product, but because I want to make less plastic waste. So these are some of the products that I have emptied this year and that I have swapped with more eco-friendly ones in order to make less waste and also to use products that are better for me and better for the environment and in general to use less like my whole concept is about i really hope you enjoyed this video i hope you found it inspiring and don't forget to go back and check out some of my old videos to see what kind of products i use as well like for example what kind of makeup do i like to use so from the bottom of my heart i just really want to thank you guys so much for following me this year for leaving me kind comments each day for giving me likes and really showing me appreciation for the work and the time and effort that i put into useless. I will see you in my next couple of vlogs, but if I don't see you in them, I just want to wish you all a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year as well. And I hope to see you all in 2018. So thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much and I will see you soon. Bye.